Excellent. And hello to everyone out there on the live stream and listening to the um, judging of the portrait cal- category. And we will be doing the single capture first, and then we'll go into the open. Okay. So, welcome to the judging. Adam Finch from Queensland, Master Photographer. Raise your hand, Adam. Sorry, I know. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. In seat number two, Mr. Ian Poole, also a Queenslander and a Master of Photography. In the middle, we have the gorgeous Kelly Collenberg. Katie Collenberg. It starts with a K, not Katie. <laughs> and also a Master Photographer from the ACT. And... In seat number four, David Glaze book. Got the thumbs up there. Thank you, David. Master of Photography. And the gorgeous Doreen Hammond in seat number five from Victoria, Master of Photography. With several gold bars I can see splashing in the in the light there. <laughs> okay. Sorry, now settle down. <laughs> settle down. <laughs> but we also have in reserve Victor Vic Natalio, raise your hand. Grand Master of Photography. Sitting him next to him is Vicky Bell, Master of Photography. Thank you, Vicky. And over on this side, on his own, is <laughs> Peter Rossi, <laughs> Grand Master of Photography, <laughs> also from Queensland. So thank you, judges, for coming today. We appreciate all the time and effort that you put in. Are we all ready? Deep breath. That's the way. Okay. Let's start our judging. Can we have the first Prince read? Oh, actually, stop. No, no, let's just go back and do the preamble. That might be... This is for the benefit of the judges and our audience and for our listening audience out there. Okay, the 2017 AIPP portrait category. And the category preamble, portrait photography is broadly defined and can include family portraiture, corporate, travel, creative and interpretive portraits. Entries into the portrait category will be judged broadly based on content, impact and professional quality. The judges will be asked to consider portraiture in its broadest context. (coughs) Entries into this category may be commissioned or non-commissioned, and this category will be judged in two sections, portrait single capture and portrait open. (coughs) Any questions, judges? I'm sure you're all ready to rock and roll. Shireen? I will be. I will repeat it. (laughs) Single capture. (laughs) If we're ready, first print, please. And the printers scored 73. All the judges between 71 and 75 are very consistent. And we will call on uh, for a ask for a comment. Please, Adam. I, I feel some eye contact rather than looking away from camera would be much stronger. Thank you very much. Let's have the next print, please. And the printer scored 74. Mr. Poole, would you like to make a comment for me, please? 
Yes, I, I had some difficulty with the left-hand lady. Uh, the expression of the right-hand lady is far stronger, but the left-hand lady didn't seem to match that stress. Great. Thank you very much. Next print, please. And the printer scored 77. Katie, would you like to make a comment, please? Uh, this is a um, high-impact um, image. I really enjoyed it as it came around. Um, I think perhaps um, just looking at the composition, there could be uh, different ways of cropping um, that might improve on it. Thank you. Next print, please. Printers scored 82 silver awards. <laughs> and we've got scores of 81 and 82, all very consistent with it. Okay, and we will have a comment from you, please, David. I just look at the use of the vignette in the, in the bottom of the print and ask whether that is actually, uh, actually enha enhancing it. Just question you, maybe look at it without having the marker there and then ask that. Hmm. I kind of like it. Yes, there you go. Okay, we accept that score and we will have the next print, please. has scored 80 by majority silver award. We do have a challenge in the negative. I'm just going to override that. Okay. And we'll have a comment from Shireen, please. Um, I, I just would have liked to have seen um, a bit, the bokeh is in very, very... Um, sharp on the face, I would have liked to have seen it falling off a little more softly around the hem, around the neck, so that we got a little bit more detail in some of those areas. Okay, thank you. I'm also going to ask uh, Katie for a um, comment, because you're in the silver range. Actually, I would have said almost exactly what Shireen said, but I, I think it's a really um, emotive image and, it, and the eyes really grab you, um, but I think the eyes would grab you even if the technique wasn't used um, quite so heavily. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Let's have the next print, please. Vicky, Vicky, Vicky.
and the printer scored 76. And David, you're on 77. Would you like to make a comment, please? The use of this technique has given it, it has brought us to the high end of professional, but I feel the strength of narrative needed needed to be stronger there to take us into the, uh, to win the award. Great, thank you. Next print. While the judges are contemplating this print, I'll just remind her that this is the portrait ca category, proudly sponsored by KL. They've been a great supporter of the AIPP, so let's get out there and support them as well. And the print scores 81, silver award. <laughs> and a comment from Doreen on 82. I was just going to say, I would love to see just a bit more space around the hat area. I'd love to see the cropping just, just to give it a little bit more breathing space would have made it even higher for me. Great, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Pearl sort of thinking it was a reasonable prop. I enjoyed this unpopular form of portraiture and I believe it's quite well done for its genre and I frankly should have gone a bit higher and I apologise to the author. Great. Thank you, judges. Excellent comment. Let's have the next print, please. And the print scores 85 silver with distinction. <laughs> Mr. Poole, you're on 85. Um, it's, it's a classic profile. I've enjoyed that. Uh, I have nothing to add to bring it up any further. It's, it's a nicely seen and, con and produced portrait. I enjoyed it. Thank you. Next print, please. And the print scores 80, a silver award. <laughs> yes, please, Doreen. Um, I actually would uh, possibly say to the author, and, and we might uh, disagree here on the panel, but um, I actually found that the sharpening of the uh, all the beautiful details inside the um, shed, I found them to be just that little bit too crisp for me, and I would love that to be just taken down just a little so that we really do focus on the, the, um, the, the person themselves and the environmental portrait. Mm. But it also gives it a grungier, would it look a bit dusty and that sort of thing, it's a bit softer. Okay, next print please.
and the printer's code 74. Thank you, and we'll have a comment from David. Great initial impact with the, with the contrasting colour, but we need more better posing, better narrative once we get up there and get the awarded board out. Great, thank you. Next print. Printer scored 79. There's no challenges, so the print will go for review. So thank you, and we'll have a comment from Shireen on 77. Um, the subject matter is, is very um, heartfelt. Um, I would love to see the author rework this and get some detail into all those whites of the tubing. Um, I'd love to see it just maybe go and visit um, one of our professional um, people like Rocco or someone like that who can actually maybe help them with their printing uh, because I think it would make a massive difference uh, uh, in the way that they actually treat the... Thank and you. Ian, quickly. I, I sense that the judges liked the image but didn't greatly enjoy the treatment and I echo totally what's been said there. Thank you, judges. Excellent comments. And as I said, the print will go for review on 79. Next print, please. And and while our judges are contemplating the next print, I'd just like to also thank and acknowledge Olympus, Aon and Panasonic as platinum sponsors of the AIPP and the APA Awards. Your, your support for this event is very much appreciated. The print scores 78. We have a challenge from judge number five, Shireen, on 84. I accept that challenge, and if you'd like to start the debate. Uh, thank you. Um, look, I think that um, in this portrait category, it's such a simple um, but beautifully executed, I feel, um, image, and it certainly res uh, deserves a silver award. Um, it's above and beyond just the very, very normal that we do every single day. Um, I think they've taken a lot of time to construct this image and given us something that's very, it's ethereal. The, the thing that I, uh, uh, that did hold me back was just, I probably would have gone just that little bit more with the expression and worked the expression just that little bit more. I think that would have taken it up even higher for me. But the actual printing, uh, the handling of the actual, uh, uh, the way that they've actually used their techniques for, for the um, retouching is actually quite beautiful. Um, there's a softness about it, and I really do believe it deserves a silver, and I think we should finish it here. So I'm asking you to come up into the open. Okay, well, we have um, two judges in 78 and one in 77, so we're very close for the night. So I'm actually going to go to Mr. Fink on 75 while the other judges have a listen. Yeah, look, I, I agree that it's well crafted and I sort of uh, put it into the mid-range professional practice for that reason. I, I struggle with the expression and I struggle with the hand. Um, uh, the right hand particularly is a little bit o overlit um, and, and it feels quite awkward and that's where I really struggle to sort of award it into a silver category. Maybe I've been a little bit of an angry pants at 75, but um, but I... I I really struggle to, to put it in the silver category for those reasons. And Shireen, we'll go back to a right of reply. Actually, um, Adam, thanks for pointing that out. Um, I, had, I just walked up and had a look. I understand what you're saying. I think the highlights on the hand are a little bit high, and that could be put
painted down, but then that would take it up for me to a sort of distinction. Whereas for me, what's happening now is that when you hold flowers, it is soft, it is like that. There's nothing wrong with her hand pose. Uh, the fact that we're seeing it shows just a little bit more of her body. I think it would have been funny if the hand wasn't there at all. Um, so I'm rewarding the author with an 80. I think it really deserves it, and I'd love you to come up to the 80 with me. Thank you, judges. Uh, we currently have a score of 78. If you could please rescore, Shireen, you're locked in. Print is now scored 79 by majority, and it will go for a review. So it does get a second chance. So thank you very much. Well argued, and we'll have the next print, please. Printer scored 76, but we do have a challenge. Thank you, Adam, on 81. Adam, if you'd like to begin. Yeah, I actually found this to be quite organic in, in its nature. It has a, a very natural kind of feel, and uh, al although it makes me kind of question exactly sort of the body shape and how it's been contorted, I sort of found that quite intriguing as sort of just to... to um, a, as a shape and as a sort of design, quite, quite interesting. Um, I know, I, and I enjoy the the technical deficiencies in a sense. The sort of if if it was all perfect and I saw skin detail all the way through and all of those elements, I probably wouldn't like it as much. I like it for its rawness, and that's why I reward, reward wanted to reward it in in this sort of category. Okay. Can we have now a comment from David? When, when this came around, I really enjoyed the, the negative space, the, the use of the blacks, the use of the technique that almost has like an x-ray sort of medical feel to it for my, for my liking. But when going up and exploring that abstraction of the body, it, I didn't get the complete narrative out of that and I felt there was a short form in the storytelling for that. And if I could sort of get to that, th through to that, even even if it asks me more questions, I don't have to f resolve it, but I have to sort of be led on a particular journey, and I wasn't led. Thank you, David. Mr. Poole. I'm in 78, and I thank Adam for, for alerting me to the abstraction of this. Um, to take David's point on board, it's more about the abstraction than the reality of the image. And the more I look at it, the more I enjoy it. I the black f the, the black void is glorious, and the old-fashioned grain <laughs> that I'm seeing in the print excites my my old brain uh, from from another time. So I I certainly will be moving up the silver. Thank you, judges. And we have a right reply from Adam. Yeah, it, it is the questions that it's asked and the and the answers that it kind of doesn't provide that maybe is why I'm enjoying it the most. And that X-ray kind of sort of olden day feel that it might have Ian um, <laughs> um, um, it, is, it does have an attraction to me I'm on 81 please join me in silver ok judges let's have a rescore Prince currently on 76 well it looks like Mr Angry Pants had a good argument we now have 80, a silver award. <laughs> we just have a blank screen for a moment. We're going to do a judge's challenge. David, I'm just going to give you a break and introduce Mr. Peter Rossi, Grandmaster from Queensland, far north Queensland, so he's a long way from home, out of his comfort zone in this weather. 
those of you who are listening and not watching, he's sitting between two gorgeous ladies, so he's very comfortable. Okay, we accept that score. And we'll have the next print, please. And the print scores 82, a silver award. <laughs> We've seen that hand thrown in the air like he just don't care. On 88, Mr. Pool, please challenge. Oh, gee, I enjoyed this image. The subject is staring straight down the barrel of the camera. And, and the stare is intent. It is unforgiving. And, and it is just so powerful. The background is just enough detail to make it interesting. Uh, I, I find this a, a great piece of communication, uh, not necessarily somebody I'd like to go and have lunch or dinner with, but uh, gee, it's a, it's a powerful piece of communication. I, I think Silver Distinction is the least we can do for it. Okay, thank you, Ian. And we have all the judges except for one in the 80s, so Shireen on 79, just sitting on that fence. Um, no, I'm going up. I agree with you. I think I was really um, just a little bit too harsh. It was probably the background that actually threw me a bit, Ian. I would have liked just that little bit more. I thought it was a little bit too gloss. But um, I love the way that the subject is at the front, and I'll just I'll come up with you. You have a right to reply, but not a lot to reply to. The background is almost as powerful for me as the subject is, but it doesn't overshadow which is the, the construction of a good portrait and a photographer who knows their, their tripe. It's, it's really what we're looking for in this competition, a cracker piece of image, yeah. Great. Uh, a, a silver distinction you'll enjoy is putting that score in. Thank you, Ian. Judges, if you could please rescore. We're currently sitting on 82. Print scores 86 silver with distinction. <laughs> Don't you just love it? <laughs> Good teamwork. Okay, we're going to do another judges change. So we'll just have a blank screen for one moment. And Shireen, I'll just give you a little break and welcome on board Vicky Bell. Good morning, Vicky. We'll just get you logged into the system. And we'll have the next print, please. And the printer scored 80, a silver award. <laughs> Let's have a comment. Vicky, we've just brought you on, but you're on 82. Thank you. Thank you, Ken. Um, 
I, I want more, a little bit more believability. The only thing I'd really um, suggest is to put a shadow under her feet so she's anchored into the scene and um, to blend more in and that takes that believability for it. Great. Thank you very much. Next print, please. The printer scored 78. Thank you, judges. Adam, a comment, please. Great, great idea. Um, the kind of post-production kind of effect, I think, is sort of losing the white doesn't probably help, um, doesn't help the image um, as much as it could. So just revisit the, the post and possibly crop in uh, even tighter in certain areas could be a bit more interesting. Great, thank you. Let's have the next print, please. And we have a score of 78, but I also have a few green lights here. Do I have a challenge? I do indeed. Mr. Rossi on 84, please d begin the discussion. Okay, I totally get this man's position in life. I feel the way it's been cropped so tight, it is also showing that uh, it's a smaller world. His world is shrinking. The fact that he's not making eye contact I feel is no problem. If anything, I can see that he is deep in thought. He's with his past or issues that he still has to to confront or confronted him throughout his life. Uh, I feel it's definitely a silver award. Uh, I'm asking people to almost explain why they would take, uh, why they would not go there. You saw those hands go up in the air, Mr. Poole and then Mr. Finch. Uh, look, I just find it a piece of professional photography. The face is overlit in, in a, a setup like this. The background's wonderful. The man's wonderful. Uh, an opportunity missed for me. Uh, the highlight on the tablecloth, why would you do that? Uh, the, the highlight on the wrist, uh, the watch arm. Uh, all of those things, I'd be bringing the attention straight back to this guy's face. I don't need the eye contact, perfectly happy with that. But uh, for me, it's a total waste of opportunity. Okay, Adam? Yeah, look, I, I, I my eye is continuously drawn to the left-hand side part of the image, looking into the bedroom or the toilet or whatever that sort of extra room is there and, and completely away from his expression, um, the hands, the arms are very, very bright. Uh, I just think the print handling really doesn't reflect a score of silver. I'm in professional practice and in the low end of that. Okay, thank you. You have a right of reply. Just, just to answer the spacing, uh, the emptiness on the left side, I feel that is an invitation to run around this man's environment, his prison, his home, however you see it. Uh, the story is in the face, absolutely. It's like, it's creating all sorts of questions. What did he do? What's he thinking? Was it a great life? Was it a wasted life? It's really pulling me in. Uh, I'm certainly not being distracted by the 
highlights on the tablecloth, I think they've been handled quite well because they would have really popped. They have been dealt with, to me. And uh, the skin, maybe the light on the skin is drawing attention to his ruddy skin and outdoor life. There's so many clues to, to his story. So I'm looking for Phil for everybody. Thank you, Peter. Judges, if you could please rescore. Current, we're sitting on 78. Printers now scored by majority 80, a silver award. <laughs> Thank you. Next print, please. Okay, we have a score of 73. I'll accept that score unless there's a challenge. And I'm looking at Mr. Poole. Yes, and you're on 78. All right, I accept the score and we'll take a comment. Let's go to, or Ian, if you like. Thank you. I. I don't feel that the vignette on the left-hand side contributes anything to what was a reasonably clever intention of, of the photograph. Um, I, I like the, the concept, but I don't like the execution. Great. Thank you very much. Let's have the next print. We have a we have a score of seventy eight, and we have three judges on seventy eight. Mr. Rossi, if you'd like to comment, uh, just to pick one uh, area that I think could be improved is th with a portrait. When you're including all of the appendages, they all need to be tended to and uh, lit correctly, or posed correctly, or hidden so as they're not to be distracting. Great, thank you very much. And the next print, please. And we have a score of 77. And we have a challenge from Peter Rossi on 82. Peter, you'd like to begin the discussion. Yes. Uh, as you can see here, we've got no face to connect with, no eyes uh, linking to the soul, etc. This is all about the body language, and the body language is telling me heaps. It's telling me everything I need to know about this little fellow. 
and his uh, insecurities or his uh, problems possibly even beyond the physical. And so it's taking me probably more to a place than it would if we could see his face and uh, he didn't have that gesture. That hand over the face and the other hand, which is reaching for, reaching for guts to maybe look at the photographer like his mother's prompting him to. Thank you. Adam? I, I don't disagree with anything Peter has read into the, is into the boy's expression. Um, where I struggle is, is the lack of um, print quality and lighting skill um, and print handling that's involved. I, I, I'd love to look at all of those elements that you've described, but I just get distracted by the heavy sort of shadow sort of line down the bottom, the bright knee, the bright left-hand side. I, I really struggle with those elements. If, if those were addressed, I would be with you, but I can't be. And you're right of reply, Peter. Just to answer to the uh, heaviness down the bottom, I really, f I quite like that. It's a grounding. It keeps you down there where the feet are. E even the way his feet and his knobbly knees uh, are, it, it brings your attention down to there. I don't mind that extra strong lighting. Uh, we're not really lighting a face here where, where it's probably lighting that forearm and hand and that's drawing attention to his embarrassment, his shame, his shyness, however you want to read it, you can go lots of different ways. I, I do think it is a silver. Thank you judges, let's have a rescore. It's gone up 1.78. But thank you anyway. Okay, judges, we're going to have a um, just hold that print there for a moment. A judges change, and thank you, Mr. Poole. And can I introduce onto the judging panel, Mr. Vic Natalia, the AIPP president <laughs> and grand master from WA. So he's a long way from home as well. Okay, let's have the next print, please. And the print has scored 71. And we'll call for a comment. Adam, you're on 72. Oh. Yeah, I just think the, the author needs to look at um, sort of toning down that, that brightness. It's y y certainly shooting in full sun can be do done, but I'd, I'd suggest maybe you know filtering that out a little bit and maybe bringing the highlights down. Great, thank you very much. Vicky, come back gently, one person at a time. And we will call for the next print, please. Printer scored 74. And Katie, you're on 74. A comment, please. 
Um, yeah, the, the photographers captured quite a beautiful expression in the subject, which I'm really enjoying and I'm sure the judges are too. I find just with the printing, um, it's being let down a little bit, the handling of the blacks. Um, it's just perhaps a little grey, so I'd look at a bit more contrast and perhaps a different choice of paper. Great, thank you. Next print. And the printer scored 79. And we'll go for review. And the, the scores were 77, 78, 78, 79, so quite consistent there. Let's call on Peter on 79 for his comment. Enjoying the colour palette very much. It's perfectly suited to the subject matter. The printing of the lighter tones, I feel, is the letdown there in the cup, the coat, and some of the other detail, uh, the dress, uh, is a real area to be improved and it would improve the whole feel of it. Thank you, Peter. Next print, please. We have scores of 82, 82, 82, 82, and 82. Can you guess what the average is? 82. Well done, audience. Thank you very much. Oh, it's on the screen, isn't it? <laughs> that is extremely consistent. Who would like to make a comment? Oh, well, here we go. Kate. Um, oh, I think this is, this is quite... Um, quite an incredible image in that um, it's very difficult to get that kind of commitment and expression from what looks like quite a young subject. And I think the, the tight crop's really working for it. It's, it's spooky. I, I think the, the photographer's um, done a, a really good job. The only thing I'd probably experiment with is a different choice of paper, perhaps, to just make that black a little bit blacker. And that would bring it up a bit higher for me. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you very much. Next print. Judges, you won't be able to e enter your score at the moment. It's the screen is running really slow here. Uh, I don't want to press accept for the next print because it may go to the next print. So just give this a moment. As you know, if you press the button too quickly, you could change the whole system and then spend time getting back into it.
we just have a blank screen for the moment, please? Thank you, Tim Handles. I may need some technical assistance. Okay, judges, it's across the uh, f all five rooms, so it's not just us. And okay, so what I'm going to do is just have a. Okay, I, I'm. You can't if you put your scores in. I don't have the same screen as you. Yeah, so you've got the right one there, but not the right one here. So let's just leave it parallel. I'm just going to have a quiet word. We are back online. Okay, so deep breath, judges, and we will have that pink back, please, ladies. Thank you very much. I believe so. Print has scored 86 silver with distinction. We have three judges who can challenge, one in the negative. Adam, I'm going to take your challenge on 91. If you'd like to begin the discussion. Really, really strong expression. Really creative um, cropping that's uncomfortable, but that uncomfortable crop matches the uncomfortable expression or the, the feeling that I get from it. Um, the lighting has been very, very well handled. The print technique has been great. And the use of matte, white down the bottom, dark up the top, 
is really inventive and for the people for the for the people playing at home um we've pretty much got the the image to the edge on the top and we've got a pu- uh, half of the half of the bottom of the mat is just pure white so there there's a lot of um meshes getting driven through just the the overall print surface that we've we're, we're presented with i'm on gold at 91 i'd like to re- reward the photographer for being um innovative and creative whilst maintaining beautiful print technique thank you adam uh, vicky uh, comments please and then i'll go to vic and then i'll go to katie uh, thank, thank you adam for the education um was uh, initially i found that the the crop actually worked against me i i, I adore this incredible proud woman and, and the emphasis is so much on this you know very crispy highly textured neck and you know the photograph photographing up her nose really disturbed me and just the severing of her head and I was sort of curious to see the rest of her body and the rest of her pride and um, I found the cropping disturbing therefore I, I actually struggled w- with the crop as much as the you know highly textured uh, finish and the you know um, the fallout of the hair being w- quite soft at the back and really crisp and sharp all the way through so I just wanted that sort of continuity to bring it together and, and to embrace the whole of her head rather than the you know the, the, the severing of her her head. Thank you, Vicky, and then we'll go to Vic. This is an exceptional image. This um, this story moves me like um, like I like I haven't been moved yet today. Um, it takes me somewhere else. It's um, it's uh, it's uncomfortable, like Adam said, and that 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 really resonates with me, and it sort of pits in my stomach. You know, this is a very strong image about. A generation, a woman, uh, um, you know, about so many things, um, about um, the in- indigenous, about the strength, about there is just so much power here in a black and white image. The eyes are beautifully lit, the nose and coming down from the bottom. I, I it says everything about, to me, about her standing in the community, her, lo- her life her authenticity, you know, like everything that it's a powerful, powerful statement. And on top of even cutting, even the way that the prints mounted and having the the white underneath, you know, what does it mean? I mean, to me, it adds so much depth, having that white space, unusual cropping, never seen it before, never seen it matted like that before. It's not about the matting, but I tell you what, it's got significance. Thank you, Vic. Katie. Um, I think I just I struggled a little bit um, similarly to Vicky just with, with the crop, at the just at the top of the head. Uh, other than that, I was there, and I appreciate what both of you have said um, in um, fighting for a gold. I, I find it really compelling um, and emotive, and I haven't really been able to drag my eyes away from her, her eyes. And if someone was really looking at you like that, you couldn't maintain that gaze so it's actually quite an experience to sit here with it for so long um so i will come up um it yeah that's that's all i've got to say peter you're an 88 you got something new to bring uh, i don't think anyone has really gone to the point of uh that big white space down the bottom and the placement of the black being and her attitude in that face and being lit like that so it's the strength there's there's nothing to hide everything's out in the open all the detail that we need is there it's this black over white attitude which is so well done so creative to have matted it like this had that picture just been in a, a rectangle in the middle it wouldn't have had half the power that it has exactly the black and the white of it all Thank you, Peter. And Adam, your right of reply. The, the beauty of our technical issue and the ability and, and us chatting about this print is we have had some time to have it sit here in front of us and at no point have my eyes left her eyes. Um, that I feel if that crop was any different, we might have floated around the print and explored it a little bit more, um, but I have been transfixed by the subject. Um, I'm at 91. Please join me at Gold. Thank you, judges. Excellent debate. Let's have a rescore.
printer scored 91. Gold award. <laughs> well done, judges. Deep breath and the next print, please. And the print score is 75. Shireen, a comment? Uh, just maybe a little something to help the author. Um, if you turn your prints upside down and look at them, you'll see where the highest um, highlight in the image is. And uh, if you actually look at your hand on top of the gentleman's head, um, you'll find that that's the highest point, the, and, and our eye is drawn there. So it's our job as photographers to focus um, to, to retouch the images so that we can actually uh, focus on what it is that you want us to focus on, which in this case would be the gentleman's face. So that would be nice if you just reworked that image a bit more. Great, thank you very much. Let's have the next print. And the Prince scores 80, a silver award. <laughs> Adam, you're on 81. Would you like to comment, please? Yeah, it's sort of an uh, uncompromisingly um, strong kind of detailed portrait of a, of a beautiful young girl. Um, I if I was to improve, I'd maybe look at the background colour and see whether that could be a, a different shade or just a monochromatic colour so that it would bring out her features a bit more. Great, thank you. Next print, please. And the printer scored 78. And so we accept that score and... Okay, thank you, Adam. Yeah, I just wanted to see a bit more believability in the, in the models um, looking like they were actually pushing rather than being sta told to stand there and look like they're pushing it. Sort of, yeah, just need a bit more believability. Great, thank you very much. And next print, please. That brings us to the end of the single image capture. I believe we need to do reviews before we go into the open, but I'm going to check on that. So, judges, if you need to go have a quick break or anything like that, while I'm back in a couple of minutes, that'd be fantastic.
Okay, ju okay, judges, we actually are ready to go. So what I will do is call on, we have Shireen, we have Katie, Adam, Ian. Yes, we are. And we'll just wait for our fifth judge and we'll be ready to rock and roll. Okay, judges, you. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. Okay, judges, you all have your cards. The print will. Yep, that's fine. The print will be turned around. I will announce whether it's um, what area of review it's going into. And then you will either give me a yes or a no answer. Okay, so we're ready out the back. One moment, please. Okay, let's have the next print. Judges, this print has scored 79. Is it worthy of a silver award? And we have four yeses. So we accept that, it goes up to a silver award. Next print please. Hang on, guys. Okay. This print has scored 79. Does it go up to a silver award? And we have three yeses. Silver award. Next print, please. This print has also scored a 79. Does it go up to a silver award? And unfortunately, it remains at 79. Thank you. Next print, please. This print has scored 84. Is it worthy of silver with distinction? And it remains at 84, silver award. Next print, please. This print has scored 79. Is it worthy of a silver award? And it remains at 79. Next print, please. And that's it for the reviews. Thanking you very much.
Okay, what we're going to do now is just do an, a judge change before we go into portrait open category. Mr. Poole, you can stay in that seat. I'll just do a little bit of a shuffle here if you're com more comfortable there. Shireen, I'm bringing you on. I'm giving Katie a little bit of a break. Um, Peter, you can pick whatever seat you like. But if you sit in four, it makes our job administration a little bit easier. And we are after... Audience. That's right. This is Bay 13. 